Well, it has been a very busy year at Franklin College uh, with lots of construction, including the recently dedicated $17 million state-of-the-art science center on campus. In our Eye on Education segment this week, Franklin College President Tom Miner is here now to explain how these recent additions uh, really are part of a broader strategy aimed at producing graduates for Indiana's 21st century workforce. And uh, Tom, as always, welcome to the program. Thank you, Gary. It's great to be here. Uh, well, let's talk about this. Lots of activity uh, focused on science. Uh, some people might think that's a new focus, but really there's a real heritage uh, in the sciences at Franklin College. Absolutely. We've really been training students in, the heritage, in, in that heritage in the sciences since 1850, uh, and certainly 100 years active lab science training. In fact, this project engaged a building that was a lab science building that was built in 1927. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's talk about that and some of the uh, the aspects and the bells and whistles of this. This is a state-of-the-art science center. It is. So we took that 1927 building and we literally gutted it out. Mm -hmm. We restored some of the historic features, but we added 19,000 square feet of the most modern science facilities mm -hmm. imaginable, and then we redesigned the interior of the historic building to be just uh, mm -hmm. uh, to that same quality. Mm -hmm. uh, so the result is a 50,000 square foot science center uh, that's really remarkable, that engages students in today's most modern teaching labs, mm -hmm. uh, but also has student labs, so that students are involved in undergraduate research in the science. You have also uh, have the first ever Graduate Health Science Center, uh, new programs as well. You also had a, a capital campaign focused on the sciences that uh, exceeded, uh, I think, a $10 million goal. We did. That, that campaign exceeded its goal uh, about two months ago. Mm -hmm. We're very proud of that fact. And all of this has also helped open that Graduate Health Science Center that uh, houses, among other things, our new Physician Assistant Studies mm -hmm. Master's Program. Yeah. It, 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 so much talk now about the life sciences in every state in the country. Indiana I think bills itself as a top 10 state for that. Do you see, I think you do, see Franklin College as being uh, uh, supplying that pipeline. We've always been a part of that mm -hmm. and, and that growth in the life sciences in Indiana, but that's absolutely where we see a significant piece of the future of the college. And it's not just about training scientists, it's about training managers and other people who will work in that life sciences industry providing other mm -hmm. functions. So whether that's folks in HR, communications, or accounting, mm -hmm. uh, working in the life science uh, uh, industries as well. What's been the early, as we wrap up, the early reaction to this new, new science center? It's, it's stunningly beautiful. People can't walk across campus without commenting on it. Mm -hmm. It's got great modern sustainability features. It's got an outdoor classroom, and it's spectacular. It changed the feel of campus. Franklin College further connecting uh, into uh, Indiana's 21st century workforce. Tom Miners, the president uh, at Franklin College. Tom, as always, good to see you. Thank you, Gary. It's All great right. to be here.